Uh, so I just thought I'd give you a very quick rundown over the... Um, the these are the Lalo uh, Zodiac ATs. These are actually the ones in green. Um, since I reviewed the first ones, I reviewed another pair in black. Um, I thought I'd do a quick review on just the ones in green so you can see the difference. And the only difference really is the green colour. Um, but since I've done the last review, these have become my go-to shoes for running in Connecticut, which you can see is a little bit challenging terrain rise with rocks and that kind of thing and this has basically become my go-to shoe for most of the running I'm doing here out in the USA now. Um, some of the features on this shoe uh, I absolutely love. Um, if you look down low it's got these little drainage ports um, for just helping to get water out when you get wet with them. Um, the uppers have got quite a splash proof kind of upper bit as well which I find really really useful um, <clears throat> and the toe box on them I would say is relatively wide um, so it's much more foot shaped, so they're much more comfortable. Um, the cushioning is very difficult to explain in that it's very, very comfortable and squishy, but somehow it's also incredibly stiff. So it acts really well as a rock plate to stop rocks and that kind of thing causing you pain in your, in your arches. But somehow it's also squishy, which is both weird and also amazing. Um, it's actually quite strange. And then underneath, you've got the, the grip that they have is really, really good at not clogging with mud. It's great on tarmac if you're a bit of a kind of bit of road, bit of trail kind of person like I am. But it's also good off-road as well. It's super, super grippy on rocks uh, and when you're on trail as well. So all in all, this has just become a shoe that I'm really, really finding that I'm using a lot. And then it's final kind of party pieces. If you run in the USA, like I do quite a lot in the ice and snow, we often fit spikes to the undersides of shoes. Now, quite a few running shoes have a kind of gap here for the heel arch, which means that it actually makes it quite difficult to fit running spikes to them in the, for the ice. But because these are perfect all the way along, they're just a smooth surface, they're absolutely ideal for attaching nano spikes and stuff as well too which um, is kind of another win for these shoes as well. So there you go, since I reviewed the black ones, I've actually used these to set a 225 mile record in them, a uh, trail record in the US, which is pretty awesome. And um, these have basically become one of my favorite shoes for running in the USA, so there you go. There's a super quick look um, at the Lalo, and these are the Zodiac ATs, but these are in green rather than black.